Hello everybody. It's Levon. i show you guys how to uh, put together one of these little grow beds for your pond or 17 gallon tote polypropylene 5. You can use anything bigger if you find it. It has to be at least a foot deep. This is 11 inches so it's deep enough for me. Um, you know, fill it with your favorite media, whatever you like. Um, your standpipe is right there. It's going to go in the middle. Uh, I don't glue anything. I just I just pressure fit them. Uh, if you got 11 inches, or depending on how deep your bed is, uh, where your media, the surface of your media is going to be, uh, you want to be two inches shorter than that. Is how how tall you want your standpipe to be. So. This is going to be your block. This is going to block everything from having your media uh, getting sucked down the drain. Uh, of course, you're going to drill a bunch of holes in this. Uh, I prefer to drill them. I like to drill them just about this whole series. I don't do the whole thing. And then, of course, this is going to sit over it. And again, I, I don't like to glue them. I don't like to do any of that stuff. So that's going to sit just like that with your standpipe in the middle. Again, two inches, you want your standpipe to be two inches below your media surface. Uh, that way sunshine won't hit it and you won't have algae growth or things like that robbing your, uh, your roots. And here's your bell. This is gonna be your bell siphon. Uh, I like to uh, drill one series of holes going all the way through the bottom and I don't come up any, I don't need to because uh, this one has some grooves in the bottom that help break the siphon so um, one series of holes in the bottom here works just fine and this goes right over your standpipe this is gonna make your siphon work by sucking that bubble down and then back into your pond uh, you're gonna regulate your flow if you notice it's not breaking the siphon lessen the flow that's coming to your bed and uh, see if it'll break siphon. If it doesn't break siphon uh, with a very low quantity of water, then maybe you should drill a more series of holes coming up a little bit on the stem on your bell. So that way it'll break siphon. There are fancy ways of doing it as well. You can drill a hole on top, run it, da da da. I don't deal with any of that stuff. My stuff hasn't failed me, and it's uh, <laughs> my videos are proof. So I got some peas popping, all kinds of other things popping in there. And uh, that's basically it. It's a very simple design. So you're going to have your water filling in here. Once it gets all the way to the top of your standpipe, the, the three quarter inch middle pipe, it's going to start to overflow. And that drain is going to go all the way back to your pond. You can use a bulkhead, you can use whatever in between the two. Uh, I sandwiched uh, uh, a male and a female. Uh, PVC piece with a couple of rubber washers in between it. I made the washers myself. And that's it. Once it pulls that bubble with it to drain, it creates a siphon and your whole bed's going to drain out again and then repeats back and forth, back and forth, depending on your uh, how much water inlet you have. Make sure you put a little tap on that so you can regulate the, uh, the amount. That way it breaks siphon. And uh, enjoy your own fruit your own vegetables, whatever you want to grow. My name is Levon. Thanks for watching.